Hey guys, uh, just another video here. Um, and I thought I'd just make a video about uh, the wiring in my house here. Um, I pretty much rewired the whole place because it was all messed up and everything. And um, I was having some problems with static. And so I actually brought this box inside <laughs> from outside and that got rid of the problem. I heard that in the winter, um, the cold and the moisture can affect the the inside of these here. Can affect these splitters. Now I'll explain what's going on here. Okay, so here's where the main line comes in, and it hooks to this here. The top one. Sorry about the shadow. The top one here is a DSL filter. Um, the purple tab is where you would hook the jack into that you plug your DSL modem into and then the orange ones are just for extra lines um, so I added an extra one I just hooked it this one into one of the orange tabs to get uh, three or four more lines and then I have uh, I actually use some cat5 to go straight to the DSL modem and uh, <laughs> It actually improved my speed about uh, double, so uh, it's pretty happy about that. Um, but uh, yeah, so everything's working great for wiring. I'm still working on it. Um, so one of these goes, one of these goes to the internet, and this other one uh, just goes to a regular phone jack, and then. What I have here, this setup, um, I just have this to uh, just answer in my basement here. Um, it's just a nice, really old uh, Northern Electric um, from the 50s. It's got the Bakelite, uh, Bakelite handset. Pretty cool. Um, 201 it says on it. And I got a caller ID box. Just uh, normal foam plug. That one says computer but it's not hooked up. I was thinking about maybe putting the modem down here or something but uh, it's always there if I need it. Um, but and then a lot of my other phone jacks the wires weren't long enough to come to this main box so what I did is um, I used this big black this big black uh, cable so it's hooked into one of them and then uh, okay so I have that big black wire run over to this smaller bell box where I have the rest of my jacks hooked into which is, uh, you know, nice and neat, a uh, little box and everything. So I basically have all the old school jacks hooked into this one. And, um, uh, you know, using all the old quad cable, like the red, green, black, yellow. And then I have the Cat5 running to the, the main box. So this way, just like, uh, like this, this tube comes down from the upstairs room, and I actually fished through a Cat5 wire, which is not hooked up. Um, that's just a phone wire. This was just some extra wire for anything. And then the uh, the TV cable wire. So uh, it's pretty cool. They ran that right straight up to the, the top floor, so it's easy to fish lines through it. And um, But yeah everything the internet has been so much faster since I've done this rewiring and uh, yeah that's pretty much it another thing I wanted to explain was was uh, with this special uh, sorry about the shadow with this special DSL splitter um, this filters out all the internet signal and everything so you don't have to have filters at the jacks which is really handy or when you're working with old phones, you don't got to worry about filtering them. And uh, it works really, really well. 
Um, this brown stuff is actually the original uh, bridal wire which came in this phone. I thought I might as well just leave it original and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's my uh, basement wiring. Uh, it's not quite finished yet, but uh, hopefully uh, it's up to standards. I don't know if Bell uh, appreciates me moving their uh, mid boxes around, but uh, whatever.